Now we will see about viruses, virions and lichens. First we will see about viruses. The name virus indicates venom or poisonous fluid. This name is given by Pasteur D.J. Ivanovsky in 1982. This virus do not come under the Five Kingdom classification because there is a doubt going whether the virus is living or non-living. The answer is it is not truly living. Because virus do not contain cell wall. So it is, sorry, virus do not contain cell. It is non-cellular. So instead of cell, it contains a, a crystalline structure, structure. Viruses are smaller than bacteria. Viruses are not living. Cell. So, in outside the cell, viruses are inner. Once it go into the cell or host cell, it will start replicating. See, here it is the virus and it will somehow go into the cell and in cell it will replicate and finally it will kill the host. Viruses are obligate parasites and virus comes mostly of proteins. And genetic material. That is either DNA or RNA. Now we will see how viruses affect plants, bacteria, and animals. First, plants. The virus which affects plants contains single stranded RNA. Sorry, single stranded DNA. Then bacteria. The, bac the virus which affect bacteria are called bacteriophages. So the, this virus contains double stranded DNA. Here the DNA will look like this and here the double stranded DNA will look like this. Next, in animals. In animals, the virus contains uh, either single stranded RNA or single or double-stranded DNA. Now we will see some of the examples for the viruses that is infecting plants and animals. The examples of viruses that infect plants are uh, mosaic formation, leaf rolling, Curling of leaves, yellowing, and dwarfing are stunted growth of plants. And the infection in animals are mumps, smallpox, herpes, influenza, and AIDS. Now we will see about bacteriophages. Bacteriophage consists of a protein coat called capsid and it is made up of capsomere. This coat protects the nucleic acid that is either DNA or RNA. Now we will see how it infects bacteria. So this is a bacterial cell 
this nucleic acid will go into this cell. So, so this nucleic acid or DNA will come to this bacteria and this bacteria also have one DNA. So, this two things will mix and thereby it will infect bacteria. Now we will see about virions. Viroids. These are same like viruses, but viroids are smaller than virus. And viroids also do not contain protein code. Viroids also inner outside the cell and they will multiply inside the cell. So this virus is discovered by Diener in 1971. Now we will see about lichens. <coughs> lichens have symbiotic associations that is with algae and fungi. Algae are phycobium. Fungi are mycobium. Symbiotic association means like give and take policy. Algae are phycobium and they are autotrophs. So they can prepare food. Mycobian or fungi are heterotrophs. So they cannot prepare their own food, so they will give shelter and absorb nutrients and water from algae. So they maintain this association. Uh, if you see that association, you won't believe that they are two different organisms. They are close in association. Lichens are good pollution indicators because lichens won't grow on polluted areas. Thank you for watching. Visit us at needbook.in.